Over the years, I've learned how to do hundreds and hundreds of demonstrations. I read about this sound experiment or demonstration. Never could make it work because I just wasn't using the right tools. And somebody taught me to do it. This is a piece of aluminum rod. So I've got different sizes that are here. By itself, it'll vibrate, make a sound. As I was told, uh, there's a second sound or frequency trapped inside. And you can't hit it to get it out. You have to make it vibrate a different way. You're going to use this cello rosin on your fingers to make your fingers sticky. And you hold it here in the very middle so that you don't dampen it. And now watch, I'm not going to hit it at all. You just hold on to it and pull your fingers across. Hear that? I don't know, you can't even imagine how loud it is right now. You're causing, causing that rod to sing because of vibration. It's the only TikTok science video your dog hates. This is so easy to do, you just need glue, food coloring, and soap. It's a weird combination. One, water down some of the glue and pour it into a plate like this, a plastic plate, and add a couple drops of food coloring. Don't move it around, that's the job of the soap. So watch, dip the cotton swab down inside like this, and now touch it in the middle and watch what happens. Look at this. There it goes, look at that. It's amazing, it's pushing those molecules around. Almost like it's fracturing it, it's actually going to move those molecules around as long terms of molecules move as the soap moves around as well. Let that sit for three days and it will eventually peel off and get this amazing stained glass filter. Super easy to do, it's easy to do to try at home and a fridge. Do it! Watch this vinegar in the bluish purple liquid and it changes color, but wait, it changes back. How in the world does this work? So the secret is an acid-based indicator called Universal Indicator. You could use red cabbage juice if you wanted to, and this antacid called milk of magnesia. Here's how it works. First of all, your chemical lesson. This is water with a little bit of this indicator in, in just the regular water. When you add an acid, it turns red. When you add a base like ammonia, it turns bluish purple. So in your stomach, let's say, uh, you have a great meal, but you have a little heartburn, right? So you have a little milk of magnesia, magnesia magnesium hydroxide, and now all of a sudden that buffers your stomach. So if you exclude a little too much acid, see how it goes to the reddish side? It buffers it and brings it back to uh, a better pH. Look at this because of the magnesium hydroxide that's in there. Another science challenge. Here's what I want you to do. You're going to need a glass over here, uh, marbles over here, and a wine glass. The object is to get the marbles from the plate into the container over here. You're not allowed to use your hand as I'm picking it up. Only can use a wine glass. See where we're going with this. It's an incredible force. Reach down, grab it like this, and start to spin. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Got it. The object is to do it as fast as you can. Some of them really start spinning in there. Some marbles are harder than others. You can do it a good little spin. This is, uh oh, a double, a double. Can he do it? and the crowd goes wild. Your turn. In this experiment, you're gonna need some paper towels, some water-soluble pens. You're gonna test the absorbency of this to make a rainbow to some time for some passage. All right, watch what happens. You get a strip of the paper towel, and you're just gonna color it using your markers here. You can make that full rainbow this way, and then you're gonna dip it down into the water like this. So when you dip both sides into the water, you can see how it starts to absorb the water just immediately and it starts to work its way up. That's exactly what you're going to want. You want these to work their way up until ultimately that gap in the center gets completely fixed in and you've got the rainbow. Test the absorbency, test the pain. 